So in this one, we're going to be doing some basic form validation stuff. Um, we have seen this before, definitely have seen it, uh, but I'm going to be doing it in particular for a user login form. So going back into our forms, notice that I did not use a model form. I'm just using a standard Django form. So inside of the standard form, we are going to do a couple checks. First of all, we want to make sure that this is actually a user. Second of all, we want to make sure this is the correct password. And then lastly, that it is a user, like a user is already registered and also that they're active, right? So they're active, registered and all this stuff. Because if they're not active, they shouldn't be able to log in. If they're not registered, the same thing, right? All those things are pretty logical. All right, so we need to import some things in here for this to actually happen. So we're gonna go into our views and I'm gonna go ahead and import all of this same sort of stuff that we did from our views and put it right underneath the form input. The real things that we need here are get user model and authenticate, but I'll leave the other ones just for now. And the user model is gonna be user equals to get user model. Uh, it's possible that we won't need this one yet, but we will need it with the registration. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, and now what we wanna do is we want to run this clean method. So every form, when it's doing validation, it has this clean method. So when I say when it's doing validation, meaning right here, once it's, it's being validated, it's gonna run this clean method. And this clean method allows us to prevent certain things from happening if they do happen. So we'll see what that means in just a second. So first of all, we'll run self. Um, the clean method is just takes in self as an argument. You can, to be on the safe side, you can add args and keyword args if you are not sure what it takes exactly. But we're gonna do username equals to self.cleanedData.get and there's gonna be username. Password is the exact same thing. So self.cleanedData.get password. And the one we want to check that this user exists. So we want to do user equals to authenticate. So we're authenticating this user. This is not logging the user in. It's just authenticating that, that this user is a user. And we're just going to do username equals to username and password equals to password. So if not user, so if, if this doesn't give us a user model at all, we'll say raise forms dot validation error and this user does not exist, okay? And then the next thing would be, we wanna check that this password is correct, right? Um, it should check it because this authentication stuff should do it, but we might as well just add something in here because this is not the only way to check if that user exists, uh, which we'll show you how to do that in just a second. So we'll say if not user um, dot check password, and of course the password. So we are passing that password in there. Then again, we're gonna raise the validation error and we'll say incorrect password. And then lastly, we'll say if not user dot is active, then we'll raise a validation error as well and say this user is no longer active. Okay. So now that we've got these validations, that's gonna make sure that all of this is looking good. Otherwise, we're just gonna return the default, which would do super login user login form and self and then dot clean. And this is gonna be args and keyword args. So this return super stuff, this is just saying return whatever the default is, which is just gonna be returning the data for the form, but we just wanna just do that specifically. Um, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and try this out because we already have our view set up, all right? It's already there. We have some validation and this validation is, is fairly basic too. So it has some basic validation such as required. So let's go back into our login. And if I hit login, this is some basic validation, of course. Now, if I just try some random user and hit login, this user does not exist, right? As expected. So let's actually find a user that does exist by logging in. And we see users here. We've got one user and that's CFE. So let's make a new one. And I'll say username ABC and the password is going to be one, two, three, four, ABC one. One, two, three, four, ABC one. Hopefully that password is okay to Django and it is. So ABC, and let's try that again, ABC. 
and it's one, two, three, four, A, B, C, one. We log in, nothing seems to happen. Um, and that's because we actually didn't do anything here inside of our view, but all of the validation went through. And I did mention that, that there is another way to actually check that this user exists. And you can do that by using a query set. So let's say user QS equals to user dot objects dot filter username equals to username. And then you would say if, uh, then we would add probably another clause in here and we'll just say user equals to user dot, or excuse me, user underscore query set first. This would also assume if user query set dot count is equal to one. So then we have this user here. This is now the user object. Um, do note that it's only filtering. So you can use a different field here, right? So you could use an email field here or something like that. Again, we're not going in that much customization here. And then you could just kind of, you could actually circumvent using authentication uh, or authenticate as a method. This is just a convenience method and it's not the only way to do it. Check password is one of those things that you'll definitely want um, if you're using this filter. Authenticate, I believe overrides that and doesn't need it. So. Um, let's go ahead and just get rid of that because we're not going to use that. We're going to use that original one, but I did want to show you that other way of doing it. So back into the login, we just now need to complete the login cycle. Um, so again, we're going to do that user and we're going to authenticate one more time. This is a little redundant, but we are doing it. So username equals to username, password equals to password. This also does get us that user itself. And now what we can do is just a login. So taking that built-in function of login, and it's gonna take in the request and the user. Um, so now what we'll be able to do is we'll actually be logged in. So a good example of this is if I try to go somewhere like posts create, it's gonna say page not found. That's because we don't have the login yet. So let's go back into login and I'll do one, two, three, four, ABC, one, login. We hit login, oops. We notice there's two errors here. So it's showing field is required and it's giving us that validation error. That's not what we want. Uh, so let's go back into our form and do one more thing. And we're just going to add if username and password into this and pass that forward. And we can also put the user authentication stuff there too. Um, so the default, you know, the password, these fields right here already have their validation. So we don't need this other validation on top of it if those don't validate. So let's try that again. And now it goes away. Um, okay, cool. So back into our view. We've got this login. I'm also gonna just print out here, um, uh, request.user.isAuthenticated. So that should give us a true or false. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna print it out as a get request, so the very first one, uh, and then I'm gonna print it out after we log in to validate that, that, that it's true. Um, so if we go here, we log in, and it says true already. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually close that page out. That should actually um, take the user out and now it says false. Um, so if we refresh again, false. Now let's log in, ABC, and then one, two, three, four, ABC, one, log in. And now what we should see is true. So false was that first one, now it's true. So if I refresh here without that, it says true and true. Um, so here we wanna actually do a redirect which we will come back to, but um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that um, because it's a good place to stop to then stop with the login view to just finish off the logout view. Um, and it's very, very simple. Logout view is probably the most simple one. And all we do here is logout and request. That's it. And then we're gonna return some sort of redirect here as well. Uh, but this logout view, we're gonna just add it into our URLs now. So again, we've already imported it. And I'm just gonna add in one more URL for logout. And this will end the session completely. Make the name of logout and refresh in here, go to logout. Um, it, it brings us back to the form, which will change, but let's go back into login. Oops. And now we see this form and in our terminal, we should see false and we do. Cool. Um, so if you have any questions on what we did here to actually log in a user, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.